हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू लेक्चर टुडे टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डील अबाउट लिमिटेड कॉन्टैक्ट डायनामिक कंप्रेशन प्लेट सो प्रीवियसली वी यूज टू यूज डायनामिक कंप्रेशन प्लेट बट नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड यूजिंग लिमिटेड कंप्रेशन डायनामिक कंप्रेशन प्लेट इन दिस लिमिटेड सॉरी लिमिटेड कॉन्टैक्ट डायनामिक कंप्रेशन प्लेट इन दिस लिमिटेड कॉन्टैक्ट डायनामिक कंप्रेशन प्लेट द ग्रूव्स आर डिजाइन इन सच अ वे दैट दे आर कॉन्वेक्स ऑन द अंडर द सर्फेस ऑफ द प्लेट that is if you see here this is the here even here the the holes are oval even here if you see the holes are oval but in the cross in the side view if you see they are like this so how are they let me just show you ah uh, they are exactly like this if you see the normal compression plate which is there that is uh, straight okay that is like this but in limited contact dynamic compression plate this is a little concave so that only a small part of this touches the bone see if this is the dynamic compression plate if this is the bone so it is kept like this so that only small part only this part is touching the bone whereas the whole plate is not touching the bone it's not this convex a little this is not this concave it will be a little concave okay so only a small part of bone can touches sorry only a pa small part of the plate can touch the bone so that is called has limited contact dynamic compression plate here the grooves are designed in such a way that there are on the convex on the concave surface only the concave surface touches the plate so, sorry only the concave surface of the plate touches the bone now see i'll just show you one more thing so as i have said only this part touches the bone and in this groove if you see in this groove the bone grows even here it is something like this you can see uh, this is the plate and these are the grooves concave grooves which are there so in these concave grooves in between the grooves and in between this gap you will see that the blood vessels grow in the, in between the gap so if you see the main disadvantage of this uh, dynamic normal dynamic compression plate i have uh, explained about this normal dynamic compression plate in my last lecture the main disadvantage of this dynamic compression plate is on either sides of the um, plate once you once you remove the plate due to some reasons then the bone is found to be avascular the bone which is present under it is found to be avascular that is one of the side effect of dynamic compression plate right so, but here in limited contact dynamic compression plate uh, in this gap in the gap which is present between the uh, concave grooves and the bone you will find that the blood vessels grow in this gap and as a result uh, there is no avascularity uh, avascularity present in the dynamic compression plate so in this limited di contact dynamic compression plate the disadvantage of avascularity is completely uh, abolished so this is right now uh, used so if you see this is one more this is the same dynamic compression plate here here uh, one more thing is uh, the holes which are there they are evenly distributed because uh, in uh, limited uh, in in, in limited contact dynamic compression plate the holes are is equally distributed but if you see in uh, um, normal dynamic compression plate there is a small area with uh, no holes the holes are not equally distributed in the center there is a small gap between the holes okay this this is for accommodation of fracture but here such gap is not there this is to prevent stress factor so as a result one more disadvantage of having stress factor in dynamic compression plate is also abolished by using limited contact dynamic compression plate so this is about limited contact dynamic compression plate thank you for watching my lecture thank you